All right, everyone, let's make sure that we are not wasting our precious, valuable blue crystals. So what I wanted to do is go over various things in the Mari shop that are just a complete scam. Stay far away from these items. I'll point out some things that are good as well, but the main thing about this video is showing you guys the items that you absolutely do not want to buy. And another problem is a lot of these items are not a one-time purchase. Uh, they're gonna be weekly. Or in the case of the Mari shop, Every six hours, you get a new page of items. So if you're in the habit of purchasing some of these really bad offers, it's not just going to be a one-time mistake. You're going to be making this mistake many, many times, and it's going to add up to a lot of wasted blue crystals over the weeks and months of you playing Lost Ark. Now, also, this video is specifically about blue crystals. Blue crystals are free-to-play friendly. These are the ones that you can end up going to the currency exchange and buying with gold. Royal crystals or orange crystals are the ones that you can only get with real money, and we're going to completely stay away from everything that costs orange crystals in this video, only blue crystals. And with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started, and let's head over to this page right here, the PAX page, and I'm going to skip this first one and get back to it in a second, the report chest. Let's talk about this weekly trade potions pack. And what I will say about this is if you're already buying the trade skill potions from the Mari shop, these right here, these minor life energy potion times five for 100 blue crystals. If you're already buying those, then you should get this one first. It's only once a week. It's an addition to the ones that you end up seeing in the Mari shop. But the reason why I say that is if you go and take a look at how many of these potions you get per blue crystal, it's five minor life energy potions for 100 blue crystals. That's 20 blue crystals per potion. And if you take a look at this weekly trade potions pack, it's 60 blue crystals and it ends up giving you three of them. So it maintains that same 20 blue crystals per one potion ratio, but it also ends up giving you a leaps essence as a little bonus. So get this one before you end up buying the ones in the Mari shop. Um, you know, I will say, be careful. These end up adding up to be quite a bit. They're, they're not cheap. 20 blue crystals each. If you actually take a look at like what that would cost you right now at the time of recording this, that's almost a hundred gold per trade skill potion so if you're confident that you can make 100 gold back from 1000 trade skill energy and you can profit from it go for it you know it's going to be really up to you and how into trade skills you are versus how much you're really working on other things in the game so all right now that we have that one out of the way let's go back to the rapport chest pack and an important note about this that i will say to everyone is this is a deep dark rabbit hole that you want to be very careful getting into because there's going to be a lot of these uh, deals in the Mari shop as well. This is something that I personally skip out on. I used to buy a few card packs as well, but I realized very quickly that it's a deep, dark rabbit hole that it's just, it's if, if you're trying to keep up buying any reasonable amount of these, it's going to cost you a lot of blue crystals. And there's so many NPCs in the game. There's so many different cards that you're never really going to feel like you get there. And it's definitely something that you have to be a little bit careful with. Now, if you're buying them in the Mari shop, this one is a little bit better value here. You end up getting a, uh, you get three epic rapport selection chests and one legendary rapport selection chest for 120 blue crystals. And if you were to buy those separately from the Mari shop, it would cost you something like 140 blue crystals, I think. So you get a little bit of a discount, but just be careful with not only this, but with anything related to cards in the Mari shop, because it's a rabbit hole that you might end up regretting if you go down. All right, now let's move on to a complete scam item here, this battle item chest bundle. The reason why this is a scam is look what you end up getting from this. You get five recovery battle item chests, five offensive ones, five utility, and five buff battle chests. But if you actually take a look in the Mari shop, you can get these all individually. They still end up giving you amounts of five. So, uh, you know, like these uh, healing battle chests, you get five of them but it only costs 25 blue crystals. So if I were to buy these exact same items from the Mari shop, it would cost me 100 blue crystals instead of 150 blue crystals. So this is actually a 50 blue crystal scam overcharging you compared to the Mari shop. And if you've already bought all that stuff at the Mari shop and you feel like you need more, you're probably using too many battle items and potions and so on and so forth. There should be plenty of them in the Mari shop. You shouldn't really feel like you need to get more um, and in a lot of cases, like the healing battle chest is definitely worth it. But on some of that other those other ones, like these offensive battle item chests, you know, really questionable of whether it's going to be worth the 25 blue crystals for these or not. And you don't really get a choice of what packs you get. This battle item bundle gives you five of each of them. So not going to be worth it. And now we move on to an even bigger scam item. And I want to point out why I have two out of three of these. Because when I looked at this at first glance, it looked so bad to me 
that I thought it was a bug. I, th I actually thought this was a mistake. I didn't think that it would only end up giving you one card pack and one singular soul leaf. I thought something had to be off. Like maybe it meant to say 10 instead of one. That's how bad it was, as I got suspicious. And so just for the purposes of the video, I bought one of these to find out. And alas, it's actually as bad as it says. You get one card pack and one singular soul leaf for 120 blue crystals. That has to be the scam of the century. Absolutely not worth it. Do not buy this. I, I have nothing else to say. Just pretend this item doesn't exist. It's really that bad. And we're gonna stay away from all this stuff for orange crystals here. Now let's move on to blue crystal skins, blue crystal mounts, and basically all the stuff in the skins and mount and pets page that you can end up buying with blue crystals. Now the orange crystal ones you can put up on the market, but the blue crystal ones you cannot. Now what I will say here, before you guys buy any of this stuff in the market, if you go and you buy any mounts or any pets, I highly, highly recommend for two reasons that you guys before you end up buying it from the market, you actually see reason number one, is it gonna be cheaper to just buy the blue crystals to buy this myself? So go to you know whatever it is that you're buying, how many blue crystals is it gonna cost me? Like this is 540 blue crystals. What is 540 blue crystals gonna cost me? Go to the exchange, figure that out. You know It's roughly 2,500 gold right now. Is this gonna cost me more than 2,500 gold in the market? Ask yourself those questions, kind of figure that out for any of the stuff that you want to end up buying for yourself. That's reason number one, is you might actually end up saving um, gold. And reason number two is we've already heard the story of uh, bans going out for shady stuff going on with people like charging backpacks on Steam. Shouldn't be too big of an issue anymore. Hopefully that is fully resolved, but I have still hear a couple of stories here and there. Uh, it, not only is it going to save you money, but it protects yourself for, from any risk here. So go through the extra couple of steps. It'll take you 30 seconds at most, and you might end up saving more gold than you think. So that's what I'll say about the skins and the mounts. Now, if we go to the function page, the one thing that I will say about Faeons is we don't buy these from the shop until you've used all the free Faeons that we've gotten. Because the game has actually been pretty generous with Faeons lately, and I made the mistake. I didn't know how many we would get for free, and I bought 100 of these myself like right when the game came out and I haven't even touched them because I've only really been using the ones for free. I don't know if they're going to keep up the generosity with Faeons. It's, it's hard to really know. Also keep in mind that in tier three, a lot of stuff in tier three is going to take a lot more than one Faeon. So it's going to be really easy to eat up a lot more of these than you realize, but there's really no reason to buy these until you've used all the free ones up. The Unis task completion is you have to ask yourself, how much is your time worth? Right? Because if you end up buying 50 of these, I believe it is, um, let's see, if I buy 50 of these, it is 1,100 blue crystals. So every single one of these Una's task completions is going to cost 22 blue crystals. 22 blue crystals is like, you know, 100 or so gold approximately, you know, somewhere in that general range. So is your time of doing an Una's task normally worth 100 gold? Or would you rather pay the 100 gold and skip it and not have to deal with it? That's really only a question that you can answer. Uh, besides that, you know, it's kind of it's kind of really hard to say because it's, it's a really a convenience type item there. And uh, that's I think that's all the really big stuff that is specifically blue crystals only. I know there's a lot of other stuff in the store, but this is all stuff that's either going to cost orange crystals, which is real money only, or just straight up real money. So I don't want to talk about that. Everything that I've mentioned in this video, you can end up buying with only gold. You do not have to spend any real money, but that doesn't mean that you can go crazy on the store. You still want to be careful, and there's still very big scam items that you absolutely want to stay away from. So hopefully I went over some of the bigger ones in this video, and that's basically going to be it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, consider leaving a quick like. Consider subscribing to the channel for more videos in the future. And feel free to check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash salt, where I'll be streaming Lost Ark as well as other games. Thanks again, everyone. Take care. And until next time.